So this is the beginning of Quads for Squads training. So a year and a half ago, General Neller made his priority to get every deploying infantry squad a quadcopter. And now we're seeing that uh, idea really come into reality. So we have the equipment, it's durable enough for us. We got the training from Tulsa, and now we're getting uh, everyone we can trained on a quadcopter in the squad so that they have the ability to employ quadcopters at the squad level. Now, I can grab this motor without this prop. Um, Tulsa instructors very good, a lot of former military contractors, and they're, now they're coming out um, to help us and, and train us in, in the capabilities. But it's something they all wish when they were in the Marines or they were in the military that they had themselves. Now they're passing on to the future generation of Marines. Stop clear. Really the two main purposes are either using it to put pressure on the enemy to observe on him and force him to react to what you're doing, or you're using it to uh, conduct force protection at our level. So whether that increases our ability, our range of what we can see um, by pushing out a quadcopter, or if that increases uh, the range of a squad in foot mobile capabilities, or if that increases the range of a convoy for how far out they can see. Um, no matter what, the quadcopter provides that observation, gives it back to the convoy commander, gives it back to the squad leader, and lets him know uh, what's ahead, and uh, lets him react to that before the enemy forces him to react.